Hey guys, in this series of videos we will learn React.js and in this video we will take a look at an overview of React and we will build our first React component. So what is React.js? It's a JavaScript library used to create user interfaces. It was created and it's still maintained by Facebook. It's the V in MVC. For those who don't know what MVC is, um, it's a model view controller architecture and React.js is the view. React makes no assumptions about the rest of your application and it can be ran on both the client and the server side. Virtual DOM. React abstracts the DOM away giving you a simple programming model. It creates a slimmer version of the DOM and updates only the parts that need to be re-rendered and it's faster. So why should we use React? Because it's simple, React manages all of the UI updates for us. Is declarative, it knows to refresh only the changed parts of the application because it's readable and reusable. Everything is considered a component and is self contained, making it easy to read and to reuse code. React has something called JSX, which is a JavaScript syntax extension. JSX is a tag syntax very similar to XML and HTML. It's not required, but it's recommended to use it because it makes things much easier. You, of course, you can use JavaScript, but your code is going to be longer and much more complicated. Babel JavaScript Compiler. This is a compiler which transforms JSX code into JavaScript. It lets us write code that uses the ES6 syntax. And because it works very well with Webpack, which is a model bundler and also has a a dev server which we can use for development. Whenever we want to use JSX in our HTML code, we should always specify this script type, which is tag slash babel. That's how um, that's how we will call the babel JavaScript compiler, and it's gonna transform the JSX code into JavaScript so the browser can read it. So let's go ahead and create our first React component. If you go right now on Google and type in React.js, a website is going to pop up on the first page, which is react.js.org. Click on that website, and then from the home page, go to Docs tab. And from this page, you will have a link to the installation section. Click on that. And then from this page, you will have another link, uh, which is going to from where you can download the HTML file. It's gonna it's gonna show you or it's gonna download the file. So copy everything from here and paste it in your editor. And from this file you wanna remove everything you have in your body section. This comment here, JavaScript and the div ID. And on the header if you want you can change the title, page title. And then also you want to include uh, Bootstrap here. So my my file looks like this. I have here uh, the title. If you want to change it, if you don't want, just leave it like that. And then here I include Bootstrap. And below I have these three JavaScript files from the file that we downloaded from ReactJS.org. And in the body section I have few classes which are Bootstrap classes. Now, if you see here, I have Bootstrap and then I have the first JavaScript libraries. This is the React. Uh, these two files here are what we need to create our React app. And then the third one, this is the Babel compiler that I was talking that it, it compiles the JSX. So as you see in the body section here, I have a div class row. And then I have 12 columns class, div class call hyphen md hyphen 12. This is a bootstrap class. And then here I have another div ID, which is my first React component. This is the place where um, the result from React is going to be outputted. So React is going to output the result here in this div. Let's go ahead and create our first component. First of all, we should open our script tag. And we should specify the type, which is text babel. And then we should close it. Uh, 
Okay, let's go ahead and um, create our component. So we have function and let's name it my first component. We don't have any parameters for now. And here we will have a function which is a return. And we will return for now hello hello world. In order to output this data from here, we should render which we should render it. So we should use a react function which is react dom dot and then we have our render function here oh, wow, what am I doing here and then here we should call our component and we call it in this way Okay, this is going to be the first parameter for our render function, and the second parameter is the um, document dot get element by ID, and here we type in our div ID. This is where our information is going to be. This is where the um, React is going to output it, and we should just save this file. Um, I work with XAMPP. I don't, don't know if I mentioned that, but I, I save this index.php file. It's an index.php file, and I pasted everything in, in this file. You can have it .html. It's not a big deal. And I have it in my htdocs folder because I use XAMPP, but you can save it wherever you want. So if I'm going right now and um, type in localhost, doesn't show anything but let's check the console what the console says unexpected token let's go ahead and check what's going on here let's try to wrap it so if we add h1 and h1 and we save it go back and refresh we see that it, it works so this is good because you should you should also know that we cannot render more than than a component. So for example, here we should always um, wrap our result, especially here in the render function. We cannot have another component line. If there if there would be another one, and we would do something like that, and then save it, go back and refresh. We'll have an error because we cannot render two components. If we have two components and we want to render them here, then we should wrap them use, using an, a div, like this. We just save it, go back and refresh, and we see it works. So we call the same component two times. Let's go ahead and remove this. Can I move it? Go back, check one more time. Okay, works. Uh, let's go ahead. I I'm gonna output an alert. So let me just search for bootstrap alerts examples. Actually, this website is not very really good. Uh, bootstrap this is the official website okay there was an alert I really like okay this one so the uh, alert success I'm gonna just copy all this HTML code and I'll return it in my component here I'll replace the hello world I'll place it like this Okay, and I'm just gonna save it like that. I will have few errors. I want you to see how they look like in the console. So if I save it like this and go back and refresh the page, 
it doesn't show anything but in my console uh, I see an error which says inline Bible script expected uh, corresponding JSX closing tag for HR so every time in your um, JSX you should make sure if you have a BR or HR or if you have an input field um, you should always close them you you can't use HTML5 because in HTML5 we just leave them like like this and then they need to be closed if you have another BR you need, it needs to be closed as well if you have an image um, tag that image tag needs to be closed too so let's save it now let's go back and check it there should be still errors it works but we still have an error here in the um, console which says uh, invalid DOM property class did you mean class name so this is something you should you should keep in your mind you cannot use div class as it is in HTML you should replace the class with class name everywhere Okay, we save it now, go back and refresh. We have no errors and our alert works very good. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Uh, see you in the next video where I will show you how to work with properties. We will have a parameter here. We will create another component which is gonna call the first component with your parameters there. So it's gonna be fun. See you, see you in the next video, guys.